jumps right on through. My ship. What's up guys, Pang here with Pang's Gaming, another exciting episode of my Space Engineers Let's Play. Uh, this is my first time playing with the new graphics update and visuals and audios and just kind of running around listening to everything. Oh look at the, the blowtorch is just, uh-huh, 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 yeah, oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And then, wow. I just, everything looks more. Well, everything is kind of, you know, richer and thicker. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, but when I've got the light on, I don't know, maybe it's just the glare, but it just looks very more pronounced, more metallic more did that change color when I walk up to it <coughs> I don't know it, it, it just all looks weird different Better for the worse, I guess. Update, yeah, yes. Okay, so space. I'm gonna go to space, man. Aren't we supposed to go to space this, this episode? I I think we're supposed to be going to space this episode. So let's get ready to go to space. Um, we may need this and. Probably need that. Probably, well, maybe. Because, you know, the spaceship does provide its own O2. So as long as I've got ice. Now, I was thinking, <clears throat> um, there, there, there's our spaceship. Oh. Wow. Anyways, here's the spaceship. My very first, um, uh, Actually, you know, in all the time I've been playing this, this is actually the first time I've ever built a, a ship to go into space. You know, you know, I've played in space. You know, I've spawned in space and lived in space. But this is my first time I'm ever going to space from the planet. So, you know. I don't know. Maybe someone suggested I should probably throw a, a drill right here on top of the cockpit or a, a set of drills. That way, once we get up to space, I won't even have, you know, find a, an asteroid with ice in it. And we won't even have to leave the ship to go out and mine. We just roll up on it, drill the, uh, the ice, and it should plop it right into the oxygen generators of the of our little spacecraft cuz we're going to be using this up once we take off and you know go in to, you know to reach orbit so drills um not that. Can we go to the smaller one? Nope. 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 Uh, there, right? 
Okay. Seven. Okay, so <clears throat> conveyor junction. Did they change that? It's right here. And then uh, where be the drill? Right here. Okay, so eight here, and then nine should fit right like that. And then if we really want to get broggy, we could put like we did with the, the other drill. had it. Why do you gotta do that? Why are you gotta play me like that? Wow, really? Weird how it just keeps on sparkling and even though it's built. <coughs> All right, so I need eight large steel tubes. Okay, so we've got 150. Is this full again? No, it's not. So I can probably get it. Uh, ooh, ah, uh, out. Nope. Well, I got to access directly. Yeah. Sure, of course I do, because, you know, why would it fit in there? All right, so let's do a, a status check. A go, no go for launch. Yeah, let's see. We've got thrusters. we got going up. we got some hydrogen left and right hydrogen. Um, more hydrogen for going up, and then we got some atmospheric, atmospheric, it's 
some drills. Got some more atmos at atmos atmospheric. Really? Okay. Atmospheric thrusters don't work in space. Why the hell do I got all this damn all these thrusters when this is going to be a spaceship, not a planet ship? I mean, look at all these thrusters. What was I thinking? We're not going to be flying around. We're just. We're, I just have these thrusters here to help me break orbit or to land. I don't necessarily need, <clears throat> need all this shit. Wow. Okay, so I don't know what the hell I was thinking. Oops. Okay, so we need, whew, it's a good thing we didn't roll out with that shit, huh? <laughs> that would have blown. What do we need? We need some thrusters. Or do we need some thrusters? We need hydrogen thrusters. That's what we need. We don't need to freaking all this atmospheric crap because once we hit space, the shit don't work in space. So, it's a good thing I noticed that before we got into space, we'd only be able to roll and go forward. That would have sucked. That would have really sucked. Can I just... I should be able to plop something, right? I can plop a big boy right there, right? So that that give me braking power. Wow, we really almost screwed the pooch on this. And then um, we got so many ports on this here. I should be able to. Uh, like that so now uh, give me up and down braking power left and right forward so I just need um, left and right that way so that that should it Metal grids, large cell tubes.
Why do I got a welding ship when I'm sitting there hand manualing welding everything? Right? I don't know. I'm just sitting there having a, a great time freaking hand welding everything. Oh. Whoa. The thrusters is. And then controls is. see how the lag yeah normally when you're in like third person view and it's 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 like you know spot on but now it's a little bit more of a a lag to it and the thrusters wow look how pronounced this graphics are with the thrusters Too close? Why well, am? Um it's like I'm fighting with the controls a bit. I love the way the fuck, pardon me, the way the thrusters look. Oops. Came in a little hot. Did I wreck anything on this? Look at the spark action. All right. Let's go ahead and... Let's go refill our bottles. All right. We're refilled. I think we're ready to go. It's time to blow this joint. Right, I just gotta set the thruster groups up, and I think we're we're ready to give this a shot. Ooh, let's go like this. Control panel. <sighs> okay, it's that's just too much for me to look at. It wouldn't let me go. <laughs> All right. Ooh. Oh. Wow. What? Space engineers had a problem and crashed. We apologize for this inconvenience. Please click the send log if you'd like to help us analyze and fix the problem. Please just provide a description of what you were doing when I was, well, I was playing the game. I've never had space engineers crash for me before. Okay, well, let's, uh, we make sure the issue will be fixed as soon as possible. Thank you, Keen Software House. Okay, but I've never 
ever had a crash in space engineers before. And lo and behold, look, recorded it. Let's let's launch her back up. Did you know O2, H2 generator can produce small amounts of hydrogen for thrusters without having a hydrogen tank involved? Now you know. Are we airborne? Wow. It went this far back, really? Okay. Okay, so uh, once again, let's replenish the hydrogen model. There we go. We got O2, we got some hydrogen, we got a couple of spare parts in our inventory. Close the doors, lock the place up. Oh, that's what I was doing wrong. Okay. Well, you know, when I was trying to do the test flight before, everything's backwards because the way we're looking at it, it's not really up and down, left and right because the cockpit view, now everything's up and down, left and right. So I was like at a 90 degree angle. I wonder why the controls were all messed up for me. Or why I was just having so much difficulty with it. So, um, these are the new thrusters we just did. We'll turn them off. Well, I would just turn them on. Because these are the large hydrogen. We'll turn them all on. Now, what? Oh, okay, so let's get rid of that and then re, well, we're always going to want the hydrogen. Well, I'll just make a, a group. for all the hydrogen. I don't know why, because once I land it somewhere, thrusters forward, thrusters backwards, really, so. If I go like this, All that earth thrusters. And just to look, we're full. Okay. And then hit G. What do we got here? We got thrusters atmospheric forward. Backwards, thrusters backwards, forward. Oh, well, but when I have all these, 
I don't know where all these are. So we got hydrogen. Well, but we had to remove that. Okay, so we got hydrogen thrusters. And we got earth thrusters. Oh. Okay. So. what that was but it was close Try to turn those off. <coughs> I think we're ready. And actually, what I should have done is. Put that connector on the back of the uh, on the back of the cargo container would have probably been more, you know, aligned. But hey, we're going to space, man. Enough chat. Enough. 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 My home. I forgot to put a GPS marker, but there's nickel, cobalt, and iron and markers all over the base. And actually, well, we could throw, turn off the hydrogen thrusters until we get up high enough. That way we're conserving thrusters or ice. Wow, it looks like the whole everything is like on the bottom of the ship. That just looks so generic. Losing speed. We're losing speed. Okay, so I need uh, I, now I need some thruster power. There we go. Now we're climbing back up in the speed. Oh, that's what I should do. I should uh, the the hydrogen thrusters that are facing forward. I mean, we're still climbing, but every time I take my finger off of going forward. Um, that's these two right here. Right. 
we're at a dead stop while I'm trying to do this last second. Uh, oopsies. This last second oopsies. Okay. All right, so if I hit six, look, there's no longer pushing against us. Okay, so oopsies. Oopsies. Look, that way we're not slowing down quickly and I can I'll keep bumping it. lose we won't use ice up that quickly what let's just break orbit let's get into space that's what i want get into space i don't even know if i have enough components honestly to uh to even build a refinery or or anything to be uh, this could be just for nothing an attempt for nothing Honestly, I don't even know if I have enough components to build a refinery and uh, um, and an assembler. No idea. I mean, I know I can cannibalize the atmospheric thrusters. But beyond that, who knows? All right, so have we left? We still have 0.22 gravity, so we're not entirely in space yet. Even though we are, oh, we are in space. Hey, we're in space. Look at that. We're out of the atmosphere. We're just inside the Earth's gravity. Okay, so, um, which one of these was what? Earth thrusters. That was number four. So we can turn off number four now, so we're not just burning up atmospheric thruster crap because we're in space. Look at these asteroids we're passing. Point one one planet gravity point ten uh oh wow we're heading right towards drones here in space beware of trespassing This big old asteroid right here. Point oh eight. Let's aim for this one. I don't know. The drones are getting closer and closer. Moon's clear on the other side of the planet. Of course it is. I 
we we haven't even broke broke Earth's orbit yet, and I'm already uh, trying to fly somewhere. I'm just trying to move away from the space pirates. Looks like there's two targets there. Move away. Move away. Home sweet home. Wait a minute. Are we falling? Oh, we are falling down backwards, aren't we? Ever so slightly. All right, let's just break away from the planet's gravity. There, we are out of the planet's gravity. We've achieved orbit. Hey. What? Another one? Oh, no. That's that one. Okay. So. Can I hit this asteroid and not be affected by the planet's gravity? Because it's like right on top of the planet almost. See, we're back in planet's gravity. Yeah, that's not going to work. We want to be... Look at that asteroid out there. You see it? It's just black. That one. Let's let's run for that. I might have to skim across the planet's gravity. I want to be on the side of where the moon is. Eventually, that's, that's my goal. <laughs> Land on the moon. Land on the moon, build a base, live in space, use the moon as a base, the moon base. don't want to be inside the gravity well of the planets. We want to be free in orbit.
be free. Be free in orbit. There, we broke planet gravity again. All right, so what is the, uh, still at 100% on the hydrogen, so that's cool. And then, uh, oh, let's still look at that. The oxygen generators are burning through the ice and replenish through the hydrogen tank because that's what we're using for thrust. So we, we need to find a rock so we can mine up some more ice to keep us with thruster power. There's a rock right here in front of me. Let's go try it out. Because once the ice is gone, then we're just a floating duck. <clears throat> it's awfully bright from the sun, but I didn't even think about it. I should have probably put some spotlights on this ship. For sure. This is Earth. This is, oh, okay, okay. Yeah, I got them off. We should probably should we should probably turn those back on since we're getting closer to this rock. So when I pop on the dampeners, we should slow down pretty drastically. Yeah. Oh, you know what? I should have probably put an ore detector on this, too. <laughs> it was a last-second thing, putting the drills on. I, I forgot. I forgot to put the ore detector on it. Wow, well, look how bright this rock is. I was loading in. I see iron. see any ice? I see a hole. Wow, this thing does not like going down much. Got some serious thrust forward and backwards, but going left and right, decent. Up and down, not so much. Wow. 
I mean, there's iron in there, right? That just looks so... dark and scary. Alright, let me put the helmet back on. Let's let's pop out. I'm just curious. Um well, yeah, that's iron. It just looks so much more uh not red, you know, like a darker scarier stone okay well wow, that's looks weird the way the planets through the rock there like that so close it's like being in the movie Armageddon. But, unfortunately, there is no, uh, I didn't see any ice. No ice. That's not good. Is that the alien planet? And I, I know I don't have any any detector components. <clears throat> Look, we're down to 54 completely out of ice. We're out of ice. So if I go like this kill the power so we're not burning up any hydrogen. I mean, we're going 100 ms. Oh, is that ice right there on this rock that we're just about to pass here on the left? see the blue on there Let's just see if I can ride this close. And I was just thinking, I don't think I have any detector components or antenna components in a cargo bay to even build a an ore detector or an antenna. All right. Power up. Dampeners on. This thing thing don't have no ice, we're screwed, so
Oh, that's it. We're done. Shit, and I'm in motion. Okay. There's no way I can stop. Really? Oh, there's ice. That's ice right there, right? On top? No way. That ain't gonna help. Wait a minute, why am I... trying to slow it down, but I can't seem to stop my own ship from going. Okay, I wonder if I can... Uh, I have it. I need small tubes, radio components. I got no small tubes anywhere on here. See what I mean? I got 456 freaking reactor components, though. I guess that's that. I'll have to <laughs> start somewhere. Destroy that. We want. What else has small? 
small tubes in it. Land gear, large. Not enough to hack. What else has a small tube in it? Small hydrogen tank has small tubes, huh? Where's that antenna at? Here she goes. Bounce right on through. My ship. I didn't know it saved when we were not in the cockpit. Really? Gravity get us yet? Look at all these. Okay. Is this it? That was just straight up blind luck. <laughs> that I saw this in, in, in space like that. Okay, so... <laughs> Blind, straight-up luck that I saw that bitch in space. G is all hydrogen? Okay. So all the hydrogen are off. Now what I need to do... 
because I was able to get a whopping 317 eyes because my cargo shit's all full and I got scared and I for that very purpose of not losing visual on the old ship. I need to get in there. Get in there. No. Why is my... Okay, I don't have my dampers on. Why is this so difficult? Where's the damn cockpit at? Yeah, just go ahead and save. That's fine. Unknown signals detected. Yeah, thanks so much. Okay, we've got four. Four hydrogen, that's all we got. Is that gonna be enough to Oh, we're, why are we using high, uh, oxygen? Um, okay. We're at a dead stop, right? I'm not at a dead stop. All right, so let's create a quick GPS coordinate right here. Right, and then Get rid of all that crap. No. Maybe. And I got plenty O2. I got another bot I got a bottle and I got plenty of hydrogen. We're hunting for ice, EVA style. Oh, 
that's ice right there, right? Is this ice or is that silicon? Oh yeah, it's ice. Can't pick up that little bit. Oh, I'm not even remotely full. Why can't I pick up that? That's like it's not there. It's just. It's like it's ghosts. That's so weird. That's fine. Go out back to the GPS. Hopefully the ship is still sitting there. We got t almost 10,000 units of ice. Well, you know what? I should have probably GPS markered that spot with the ice. Ship's still there. She's still under power thrusters. That shit's filling up fast. Okay, so. What thrusters is on? All oh, the back thrusters. Okay, so. Is that the rock I just went to? We're, we're full. We're full tanks and hydrogen. 10,000 units of ice filled us up.
we really need <laughs> more thrusters going up and down. It's working. It's working. Hot damn, it's working. Does that mean we're full? Yeah, we're full, so... Stock up on some ice. Cockpit's got some ice. What about the drills? The drills chock full of ice? No, they're complete. Okay. Well. There's our destination, the moon. But I think that's going to be enough for this video. Uh, we made it into space. We were even lost in space, a, a, a dead stick. Thankfully, we're only going at about 20 ms, and I don't know how I happened to spot the ship floating backwards. I just kind of guessed, and wow, did we get lucky. Did we ever get lucky. So I'm going to call that this episode of Getting Into Space. Um, uh, off camera, I'll work my way over towards the moon. And hopefully I can start up my next episode as I'm landing on the moon. Until then, thanks for watching. Hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you next time. I can